Hugo Chavez is building an alliance with Iran to bring terrorist bases and a missile capability right to South America. That's what we'll talk about today in the lunch video, and it's the details are in our book, Screwed. The relationship that's emerging between Venezuela and Iran is a very, very dangerous one for the United States. It is fully as dangerous as the presence of Russian missiles on Cuban soil in 1962 that almost precipitated a world war. We were so anxious to stop it. First of all, the, uh, there is proof that, according to the former Israeli foreign minister, that uranium from Bolivia, which is one of the leading suppliers of uranium, uh, which is basically controlled by Chavez, is providing uranium to Iran to help them develop nuclear weapons. And the Wall Street Journal has reported that Venezuela has purchased 10 Iranian drones for a total of $30 million. And that the Wall Street Journal reports that medium range Shahab 3 missiles, Iranian intermediate nuclear missiles, have been shipped from Iran to Venezuela. Uh, these missiles would have the capability of hitting targets in Florida, Washington, D.C., uh, New Orleans, and any part of, and parts of Texas. Uh, very, very dangerous stuff. And apparently there's a new terror training base where, where Argentina, Paraguay, and Brazil meet. There's a remote jungle area there. And apparently Hezbollah has set up a $20 million terrorist training camp there. And all of these threats are not hypothetical. They were actually realized last year when Venezuela and Iran cooperated on trying to get Mexican drug cartel thugs to assassinate the Saudi ambassador to the United States while he was eating in a restaurant in Washington, D.C., uh, an op actual terror operation on U.S. soil. This is a terribly dangerous situation. Iran is spending $4.5 billion last year to develop its relationship with Chavez. And it is absolutely in our backyard. Uh, we're insulated by the ocean from Middle East terrorism, but not from South American or Central American or Mexican terrorism aimed at the United States. And there is a clear answer to it, which we talk about in our book, Screwed. Venezuela only exists because it ships 1.1 million barrels of oil every day to the United States out of about the 18.5 million the U.S. uses. Now, Venezuelan oil is so heavy that it cannot be refined any place but in the specifically designed refineries of the United States that were built to accommodate Venezuelan oil. And we could easily stop using the Venezuelan one million barrels. First of all, we could build the Keystone Pipeline, which gives us one million barrels. Uh, the U.S. oil drilling is projected to add two million barrels a day over the next three years to our energy supply. And the Strategic Petroleum Reserve consists of 670 million barrels of oil. Uh, so it would be very simple for us to use a combination of those to stop buying Venezuelan oil. And if we did, Chavez would be gone in a matter of months. The only thing that's holding that regime up is the U.S. purchases of his oil. Nobody else buys Venezuelan oil but us. We cut it off, he goes down. And that is something really worth doing. Now, we'll never get Obama to do it, but hopefully President Romney will do it. And I look forward to that day. Thanks for watching this video has been sponsored by NewEconomicPrediction.com. Uh, that's an organization that basically tells you how to make money, where you can invest, where you should stay away from investing in today's economic climate. And particularly with the euro skating on the edge of oblivion, uh, this is a pretty important film to watch. So at the end of this video, you could watch it, and it's also called NewEconomicPrediction.com. Thanks a lot.